If you've got one of these little Bitcoin miners and you're wondering, hey, what's the next step up? What's the next miner I should get? Maybe you should look at one of these. Now this is that little NM miner. It's a uh, kind of a beginner miner uh, and it's really fun to learn on, but it has such a low hash rate, about one mega hash, so one million hashes per second. Uh, it's really not gonna do too much. Uh, so, but uh, it's only about $20 or 20 to $30. So you can get these uh, just about anywhere. I'll get them on, on uh, Amazon or there's, there's other places you can buy these from. And it, it's a fun first miner to play with. But if you want to step up, you might look at the BitX. This is the Gamma 602. It's a very popular miner. This hash is at one terahash, which is one million times the hash rate of this little guy. Now, he doesn't have the cool big screen, color screen like this one. So it's not as much fun to look at, but he hashes a lot faster. You can, you can solo mine with this guy. You can uh, pool mine with him. Uh, it's by no means a professional miner. It's still just a hobby miner, and uh, it runs about 125 bucks and uses about as much uh, power as a 20 25 watt light bulb. So he uses a little a little power and he generates a little heat. Has a fan to keep him cool, but uh, it's uh, not. It's pretty quiet. Doesn't generate much much uh, sound at all. So. Let me show you how to set them up and we can play with it. All right, this guy has a, it's a five volt, uh, six amp. So it's a 30 watt power supply. And uh, this is the little Bitcoin miner itself. It's pretty small, but let's go ahead and open it up. Get that static bag. got a pretty good size uh, heat sink on him and a, and a fan because he generates a little heat and this is a little screen on top it's uh, got that little green uh, protector I'm gonna take that off you can do that oh, there so it's pretty easy to assemble you just take the uh, little it's a 3d printed stand and it's got little little nibs here. You just set it where the the uh, name of the company is up, up, and we put them. That's where the uh, the uh, screen goes. And we just kind of fit him in there. He just kind of snaps in. He doesn't. Uh, there's no screws or anything on this one. You just snap him in. Boom, like that. And then he's got this little stand that that fits into. And it just slides in that slot like that. And ta-da, he's, he's set up. I mean, he's, he's uh, ready to go. So now we just need to plug him in. Now, before we uh, plug him in, I'm going to go to my Bitcoin wallet. Enter my PIN. Go to Deposit. And select Bitcoin. And then down here at the bottom, that's my Bitcoin address. I'm going to click on that and hit address copied. All right, the address gets copied. And now when I set up my little Bitcoin, uh, this miner, I'm going to just going to drop that Bitcoin address into his little configuration screen. And this uh, power supply has to be plugged into the wall. So we plug him into the little Bitcoin miner here. Right there, his fan starts up. And he... Uh, it says connect to the configuration Wi-Fi and connect the BitX to your network. So what I need to do is see this uh, Wi-Fi address. It's BitX dash ADE5. I need to go to that wireless. So I uh, I go to that address on my wireless on my uh, it's like that wireless address on my uh, phone it says it's an unsecured network that's okay it's a captive wi-fi so it means it's gonna it's gonna 
it's going to uh, bring up a page and then I put in my wireless SSID and the password. It says save network settings and must restart the device. So now I just go ahead and restart this device. Have to go and unplug him. And plug him back in. Now he says he's Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi uh, network and he's connected. So now we just need to configure him. All right, this Bitcoin miner is now on my IP, my wireless, and it has an IP of 192.168.1.196. Now this will be different on your net network, depending on what, I, what uh, computers you have on your network or what your network is, but that's the local network address for this guy on my wireless that this guy is connected to. So I just go to that address, the 192.168.1. What was it? Da, 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 da. One ninety six. Okay. Go to that web address, and there is a little a uh, configuration page that showing he's already he's already doing some mining, but he's not mining for me. He's mining for somebody else. So I need to set him up to my Bitcoin address. So I emailed my Bitcoin address from my phone that I copied from my Bitcoin wallet. Just emailed it to my email so I'd have it here and uh, put it so I could paste it in. I go to settings. I'll leave all this, I'm gonna leave all this stuff alone and go all the way down to the uh, to pool. And right here where it says user or something, something bit axe. It's like, no, that's not that's that's uh, that's not me. I'm gonna paste my Bitcoin address into it. And there's a fallback pool, so I'm going to paste it into the fallback pool. And then hit save. And it says it saved it. It says it must restart, so I hit restart. And it's going to restart this Bitcoin. That might... And there's not much of a screen on here, it's just a tiny little screen, but this is a lot faster than those little... Uh, uh, Bitcoin miners that you get uh, that are USB powered, uh, but of course he needs a needs a power supply, so he's generating a lot of heat. All right, so he rebooted, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the pool, go to uh, the Bitcoin mining pool, and I can give you that address. If you go to https slash slash web dot public dash pool dot io forward slash number sign forward slash that's the address of the public mining pool where this guy will mine to and it shows uh how many bid axes how many different kind of nerd axes different miners are actually mining right now on this pool so we want to look at our and it has a graph of the the bitcoin mining that's going on but we want to uh to uh have him show our our uh Miner. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that that address and set my workers. And I have I already have this little guy here that's been set up for a couple of days, and he's mining about uh, 808 kilo hash, so almost a, a a gig. Oh, sorry, almost a mega hash, and he's been going. And then this guy now he is at. Uh, he has just started out, so we'll see how he does. All right, he's now at 1.5 terahash. So this guy right here is 1.5 terahash, which is, and the other little one I had is at uh, 902 kilohashes, 
So about one meg. So this guy is about a thousand times faster. No, he's, he's a, a million times faster. He's, uh, you got kilo hash, which is thousand hash per second. You got mega hash, which is a thousand kilo hash. You got giga hash, which is a thousand mega hash. And tera hash, which is a thousand giga hash. So he is, he's moving. So he is doing his mining, and uh, you can see right now my history is probably about 1.2 mega hash total. And uh, we'll get a little time and then we'll check him and see how he's doing. Well, this bit axe has been chugging away for about uh, 50 minutes, so almost an hour. And you can see in my, uh, my little, my graph here, I had this other little miner and it was, uh, you know, 870, uh, thousand, uh, one, here's like one mega hash. And then when I plug this guy in, boom, now I'm up to, you know, 1.2 tera hash. So this is one of those little miners like you see on uh, your Facebook ads. And then this is this bit act. So he is not as fun to watch. He doesn't have the really cool screen, but he's a lot faster. Yeah, you got 1.3 mega hash for the little miner the USB miner, and then this guy's 1.1 terash. But he's generating a little heat, and I'm sure he's using probably about mm, 25 watts. Not too bad, but he is gener he is using some electricity. And here's these two little miners uh, side by side, the one mega hash with the USB. I'm actually powering them off a USB stick, so he doesn't use much power at all. He's got a really cool color screen, lots of stuff going on. If you just want something to go on your desk, this is pretty cool. You know, these are fun and a great way to learn about Bitcoin mining. And this guy is, uh, he's not as flashy. He's just got this little tiny screen that gives you the basic information and you do everything on the internet or over the network to, uh, to manage him or, or control him. Uh, and he's got this fan. It's very pretty quiet, but there is a fan. There's a little noise and he's using some uh, some electricity and generating some heat so but this guy mines at you know one mega hash one million hashes per second and this guy is at one tera hash so he's one uh, uh, billion hashes per second so it's uh it's a little different i mean he's uh, about a, a million times faster than this one so that's just an introduction to the Bidax Gamma 602 uh, Bitcoin miner. It's a little miner that uh, runs about one tera hash, takes about 25 watts of electricity, and um, you can get them for about $125 on the internet. So it's not very expensive. Um, but uh, is this a professional miner? Absolutely not. A professional miner would be over a hundred tera hash it would be over 3,000 watts of electricity, mainly 220 uh, volts. So you'd have to have special wiring, generates a lot of heat, a lot of noise, and they're pretty expensive. They cost a couple thousand dollars. So this is more just a hobby miner, but uh, a lot of fun. And people have hit blocks of Bitcoin using little miners like this. So it's possible. It's not very likely, but... I think it, they say it is possible to hit a Bitcoin block with a little miner like this. So just thank you for checking it out. I mean, this was this would be probably like the next step up from this little from this little guy, and uh, it's a lot of fun. You can you can solo mine with him. You can uh, pool mine. Uh, you can mine a lot of different uh, anything that's SHA two fifty six. Pretty much you can mine with this little guy. So. Thank you for watching, and uh, happy mining. Thanks, everybody.